Hi, this is Chris Brogan. I'm going to show you really quickly how I use Google Reader and why I think it's of importance and interest as a blog reading tool. First, take a look at the left-hand side. One thing that I like about it is that, like a lot of other blog readers, you can have sort of a folder view of what's interesting to you. And then those expand to show all the different RSS feeds that you've collected over time. Second, what I like is that it, you can run it through a keyboard uh, so that you can sort of go fast. If you notice, I have mine set to the list view. If mine looks a little different, it is Google Reader running on Firefox on a Mac. But I'm also using Grease Monkey, uh, which has a script called Better G Reader, which makes it look a little different. And that's all. It just sort of changes some of the look and feel. But technically, it's the same sort of deal. So if you look, I can use a keyboard to run around this thing and, uh, and read blog posts. So it lets me go pretty fast. I can look and say, oh, well, that's interesting. We're talking about the difference between when Amazon.com just announced that they bought Audible. I could read the whole thing. Rex Hammett writes really great blog posts. And then I can choose what I'm going to do with it. Am I going to share it with other people by doing Shift S, which means suddenly that'll go into my Google Reader shared items. And we'll talk about that in a second. Can I, do I want to send it via email to somebody who maybe doesn't use shared items and just the sim simple market reads? But I'm going with the letter N, with the letter O for open, and I'm reading fast, fast, fast through all my stuff. So sometimes I do that because I don't have a lot of time. Sometimes I do it because a particular article isn't all that interesting. For example, I follow about semantic technology. I'm not necessarily interested in this post, so I'll let it go by. And then I look at stuff really fast and I can pass some of it through my shared items. So that's why I like it. When I want to go deep and when I want to read something a little longer than that, for example, this looks like an interesting post, I'll click through and it'll drop it into a whole new tab on my browser and then I'll remember to go back and read it in depth because it was one that I wanted to share and, and, and find interesting. So that's kind of why I like it. One last thing about this, or two last things I guess, shared items really quickly are where things that I push Shift S go to. Now there's a little spot for a profile which makes it like a Google social network. I can use the GTalk service to hook myself up to other people who use Gmail and share their information that way. But this is a list of this, the posts that I've shared recently. So it, you can run down and see, now I share some of my own and there's a reason for that that I'll explain because it goes to Facebook and some other applications that are aggregating on my shared items. Um, but then I mostly go around and look for things that are interesting in, say, social media or technology or whatnot. For example, this post by Jeremiah Aoyang, How to Successfully Moderate a Conference Panel. Awesome. Great post. I wanted to make sure lots of people saw it, so I shared it and sent it in an email to a couple other friends. Interesting, and one of my favorite new features inside of Gmail, uh, sorry, Google Reader, is friends shared items, which means that now people who share with me by connecting to me through GTalk allow me to see their shared items. And suddenly, I can look at what other people found interesting. So Rich Hand uh, reports the Amazon acquires Audible. That's one of the first places I see it is through other people's finding it elsewhere. So I'm really enjoying the fact that friends shared items allows me to see stuff. Now, sometimes you just don't have time. Sometimes you can't read all the posts in your, in your feed. And a lot of people have questions on what you should or shouldn't do. My opinion on this matter, mark them all as red. More news will come through, and the really important news will be found. And by the way, that's why we have Twitter. So that's what I do with Google Reader. That's why I think it's awesome, because you can blaze through it. The view is small. You can go back and forth between uh, looking at the full article really fast and seeing if there's something of any great detail in there and shifting down with just keyboard. So I can blaze through this as best as I want. I hope that's interesting to you, and my name is Chris Brogan. You can get more information over at chrisbrogan.com. Thanks for listening, and thanks for your attention.